Hey, what's up, you guys? So, this is another podcast episode, weekly cast. This is episode 5, and in this episode, we have Miguel here as my guest. Hello. And he's going to be, we're going to be talking, basically. Um, he probably, he has a little bit of a limited time, so, because he wants to go to the gym and work out. Right? So you want to get pumped? Yes, I do. Indeed. Do you do you imagine yourself as a bodybuilder? No, not even. I just... Then what do you go to the gym for? Just one more definition. Definition. Is there a difference between definition and like, like Cheeto arms, like where your arms look like big old puffy Cheetos? Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to be a cloud. <laughs> cloud. That's a better description. I just want to. Uh, like, you, you've already got these arms. Like, oh my god. Anyways, guys, let's get to the first topic that is in this. So I wanted to start with gaming because Miguel is a gaming kind of guy, and this is also. Hold on, before I get to that, um. I am going to be talking about really quickly how I'm going to be formatting my podcast much more differently. I'm going to have, you know, the guests come over or whatever like that or wherever we can. We're going to talk and they're going to be longer than five minutes or they can be as long as they want at least before, at least least uh, less than 30 minutes because that's too long. I don't want like an hour long one. Not enough for that. Um, but yes, we're going to be talking and the format, we're going to be talking about topics. I'm actually going to have some topics and some of the topics are going to be tailored to the person. Like Miguel is obviously gonna be gaming, you know. Kara would be like, food. Yeah, <laughs> That's so mean. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, we do cook a lot together, so. Really? Well, we do the baking videos where we make like cookies and shit like that. So yeah, that's one thing. Um, get closer though, cause it's yeah. showing you. How, you see how it goes into the yellow? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So, anyways, um, that's how it's gonna be. And one of the things that we're talking about, like I said, was gaming. Now. PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo stuff. Miguel, which one are you the biggest fan of? Uh, personally, I'd probably say Nintendo. Second, PlayStation. Third, Xbox. Not anything against Xbox, but I just, I don't know. I'm not really into, into it. I mean, Bullshit. no, I had the original Xbox. I never had a 360, but I am planning to, to get an Xbox One later on. But An eh. Xbox One? Yeah, probably. Hopefully. Didn't um, they say it wasn't even worth it? People were like, it sucks. No, no, I mean, you know, it did, at first it did have problems with, like, the DRM and all that stuff. That what Microsoft, is that? Like, Microsoft, what they were trying to do was that, like, say, you know how, like, you can sell your used games or let your friend borrow your used game? Or, like, you know, you could give them a game and they yeah, yeah. yeah. So what they were trying to do is that you would have to pay... Uh, or no, you wouldn't be able to sell your used games or let other people borrow your used what games. What the fuck? Yeah, because, you know, the used game market, it hurts them because, like, when GameStop sells a used game, they get the money. Like, GameStop gets all of the money. Like, the developers or, nor the, you know, nor Sony or Microsoft get that money. It's just, the, you know, that yeah. store. So they want to, sh- kind of, they wanted to kind of stop that. But... You know, a lot of people they, you know, they spoke their mind, got my, got mad, and and they work around that anyway. So. And they, you know, they just got rid of all that, and yeah. they said, "Fuck it, let's just stay hurt." Yeah. So. <laughs> we'll make money other ways. They're gonna make more expensive controllers, and they controllers with like glowing lights, and they'll make them more dildo like. They flash and they that's they vibrate like, even harder. That's like the PlayStation Four. <laughs> PlayStation Four. Well, yeah, it has a little light bar. You know, you don't light remember? Bar? Oh yeah, the little thing. Yeah. But. Yeah, and Nintendo have always loved Nintendo. Nintendo, he's, he's the biggest fan. N- I swear to God, every time we hang out and like I go over with him, is uh, okay. I used to go over to his house with a whole bunch of friends. And this was back when I was friends with Mikey and everyone else. Um, no, but I'd go to your house and we'd like we'd party or whatever. Not your house, not your house. Um, Yasmin's house, and we just fucking play all kinds of Mario games. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? We're playing like Mario. Smash Brothers? Super Smash Brothers? Super Smash but I don't even fucking know. You see how bad Which I am at this? is coming out tomorrow for Wii U. I can, cannot wait for that. Yes, this is also a good relevant topic because November, as many of you get video gamers might know, is um, release month. So that's where that's all the good lot. stuff comes out. Yeah, a lot of broken things. And that's also when Miguel likes to ditch school a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I saw you walking home. Like, in the morning, one day, and I was like, what is my god doing? I'm going to go play video games? Like, Tuesday? I, yes. I had an appointment. I just went well, to, no, I, an appointment with this fucking controller. I went to drop off something for $400 for Thespians. Yes. I went to drop that off. 
because I was due that day, remember? Yeah. And then I had an appointment for the eye doctor. I, I wasn't going to go to school because of that. And so, I, but that was due, so I went there to give the money to Yasmin. But I know you were thinking in the back of your mind, yes, now I don't have to go to school, now I can play my video games. I mean, yeah, that too, that's a plus. <laughs> of course! Miguel is that kind of person. A new video game comes out, he has, he has to stay home that day, that next day, to play it all there's, one night. There's so many video games this month, uh, there, this week, too. How can you afford all this? Aren't they I all can't. like $60? I know. It's an expensive hobby. A no, hobby? Do it. Yeah, it's a hobby. This is a hobby. <laughs> it's a hobby. So do you call masturbating a hobby, too? I don't masturbate. I'm... Pr Miguel. Miguel. I don't. Miguel. I don't have the need to. <laughs> but... I mean, getting back on topic, uh, you know, yes, Tuesday, this Tuesday, past Tuesday, I should say, you had Far Cry 4, Dragon Age Inquisition, Grand Theft Auto 5 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, uh, Little Big Planet 3, Ugh. and WWE 2K15, oh my God. all in one day. And there's still more games that came out that day, like Watch Dogs on Wii U finally came out, which I don't think anyone cares for that. But all those games on that one day, and then tomorrow's there was Smash Brothers, the two... Pokemon games, Alpha Sapphire, Mega Ruby, and oh my God. yeah, there's uh, a couple others I'm forgetting. Did I say Far Cry 4? I think I did. Anyway, all those games in just this week alone can do it. And then Assassin's Creed Unity and Rogue came out last week, I believe. Some, something like that. I can't do it. <laughs> oh my God. Is there any game that's actually ever gone over 100? Huh? Is there any game that's actually gone over a hundred? What do you mean? In oh, dollars? Hundred dollars? I mean, there's gotta be a game one day that well, will do that. Oh, like an old game or something? That no, but that high. Like, well, they have special editions that cost like a hundred, oh, but fuck. nothing like a actual. Fuck. I guess. Um. But yeah. So, did you want to move on? <laughs> well, I mean, we're staying on this topic for most of the while, because since we couldn't think of many topics, this was kind of improv, you know, we just put it together really quick. Mm -hmm. um, but the, you know me, I'm actually good at that improv kind of stuff, um, being an actor and all of that. By the way, guys, I didn't get in the show, so um, hmm, fuck the music teacher. Thank you, bitch. Um, anyway, it's not like she'll ever watch the music. Or music. Yes, I have problems with them. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I have a free winter, so that means I can produce more content, and you know what? In between 2014 and 2015, you guys are going to have some great content coming up. So don't worry about that. It's only it's a benefit for you guys. Um, oh, you're going to take the Kit Kat now? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what was I going to say about video games? I just had it on my mind for a second ago. Um... Do you ever think that one day there will be a game that, like, we're, like, you know how the average nowadays buying new games is, like, 60 to $80? Do you think the average will go up over 100 or will they not actually do that? Like, what if they get, come up with a game where you, it's, like, virtual reality, reality, like, much more than, um, what's that headset called? I don't remember. Oculus? Oculus, yes. They're going to come out with something much better than that. So games are going to be much more expensive. No, I don't think so. I think so. Like, maybe you're going to be able to immerse yourself. You're going to put on gloves, a helmet. Have you seen Futurama on how they do that? Yeah, but... They're going to do that one but day. then, that's not a game. That's, like, the peripherals. Peripherals? Yeah, like, yeah. Oculus Rift, that's a separate thing from a game. You buy games for it, or, you you know, you have games for it, but the thing itself is in the game. You I, mean, know what I mean, but still having the, that kind of... That quality of a game. Mm, I mean, I guess, but... The price of video games has gone down significantly from like the past. Mm. I don't know about the past. I haven't really played video games that well, were expensive that much. No, I, I mean, I don't remember obviously. But yeah. I mean, I just, you know, research. I, I was bought used games. I was that '90s kid who went up to the fucking GameStop or Blockbuster and was like, "I need this." When we're shopping for when your dad's going for movies, but he's really buying porn movies. I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> Probably. I don't have those memories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you live with an old, a young dad, actually. Young. He had me when he was 20. Really? Yeah. So he's pretty young. We're 20 years apart, which is crazy. So, I mean, of course he would have bought porn DVDs when I was, like, seven years old. Oh and, like, taking them home. They're they're up in the cabinets. So, and you snoopy ass. Did you find it one time? What? You're like, oh, my God, what is this? What is this porn, like, like move DVD? Remember the one up there? I have no idea what you're talking about. Didn't you go looking around? I don't think and so. And you saw it? 
No. Oh. I don't wreck around. Anyways, guys. Um, let's go on to our next topic. Ten minutes. We're doing ten minutes. That's good. So let's do it for another five minutes. I like to do a new segment. This is actually a, like a cemented segment. It's going to be called uh, Astrology Time. Just because it's something I believe in. I think it's actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm not a religious person. Some of you may know that because I talked about it in my videos. If you watch my video game stuff and listen to it all. I've said I don't believe in like gods and stuff like that. Because I'm like, nothing's happened to me. I prayed and nothing's happened. So it's like, okay. But it's not like I deeply believe in astrology where like, okay, this is going to happen today. I just read a horoscope and I'm just like, okay, well, that's a guideline for the day. As in like... And mine was actually pretty true today. Ow, I just hit my elbow really hard. Uh, let me get my phone. Where the fuck is my phone? Literally, my horoscope today matched so crazily, like, accurate. I was like, what the hell? So look. Ugh! Now, you guys, if you've been around for a long time, and uh, you've seen pretty much a, lot, a majority of my videos, you know that I put out bir uh, birthday videos, especially, because that's a special day. You should be able to... Vlogged that all entirely. I vlogged like a 30 minute video for my last birthday, especially. Jeez, that was a special birthday. <laughs> but you know that my birthday is on September 6th, so my sign is under Virgo. And so is Miguel's, actually, because he's 20th. 20th. Barely. I almost forgot your birthday. I almost said 31st, like um, no. Jasmine's. But yes, my. Yes. Literally, it was so accurate. Okay, it may seem like someone placed a sign on your back that says, kick me. That's just a metaphor, of course. Mm -hmm. But today, it might feel like you are bearing the brunt of everyone else's bad mood. You are a very tolerant person, but there comes a time when you need to stand up for yourself and draw a line. Don't make excuses for bullies or grumpy people who take their bad moods out on you. Make it clear that you expect to be respected, just as you respect the people you meet. Literally, Josh was... Okay, it was first period of musical theater class, and I saw Josh come in late, and we were all rehearsing, and I ran up to him, and I was like, Josh, you're here! I gave him this nigga a hug, and he's like, he backs off with his hands away from me, and he's like, don't even, I'm, don't. And I'm like, really? Wait, fuck you, I hope you're having a good day. So I walk away. It, are you fucking kidding me? I was trying to be nice. I don't know why he's crying. Okay, boo-hoo, your mom took away your car from you. Too fucking bad, you're being spoiled. Jeez. Oh my god, I don't know what his problem was with his mood. I think... Because I was, um, Barnabas was comforting him on the couch. And at one point, I said something about some grandma. Because I was talking about Jenny. And I was like, crusty grandma or something like that. And Jenny's like, please don't say those words. <laughs> and I was assuming that his grandma died. So I'm like, ooh, damn. <laughs> so, I mean, I was trying to be nice. But, you know, see, you see how accurate they are day to day. And yours, that should be the same thing. Is that accurate for you today? Today? Uh... Has anybody's bad mood, like, have they tried taking it out on you? Mm, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's, there's been times where, yeah, I've read a horoscope and it was, you know, it was pretty, pretty accurate spot on me. sometimes, which is really weird. So, um, I mean, I don't look into astrology. Yeah. What it's called. I, uh, I don't really look into astrology too much, but when I do, um, I'd say a third of the time it's pretty it's you know it's spot on which is still pretty good it's funny that you said a third why because i looked it in, into it way more than you did and there's this thing called decans d-e-c-a-n-s and what it is it's just like uh when you're a virgo you're not just one there's like three different time periods so like from the beginning to, so it goes from anyone born from september 22nd to august no august 23rd sorry i got the months backwards August 23rd to September 22nd. Miguel's 20th. He's almost the end of it. So there's like thirds. There's like the beginning third, which is the last of August and a little bit through September. Then the middle, which is me. And then the end, which is you. Mm -hmm. Decans. And what they say is, I, uh, I've read, is not every day is it going to be accurate to every yeah. decan. It's going to be different. Now, I guess it was accurate today for me. For Miguel, obviously not because he's in the third and I'm in the second. Now... Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's why I, I believe in it, sort of, in somewhat, like, a guideline. I was like, oh, okay. Well, and I read it, really, I, like, as soon as that happened, I sat down with Barnabas, and I read it afterward, and I was like, are you freaking kidding me? This is relating to me right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, then I was just like, wow. <laughs> so I'll just follow this guideline. I'm not going to let his bad mood rub off, rub off on me. Yeah. 
So I didn't, and I, I had a good day. I had a good day because of that. It helps me have good days. But then some days I'm just like, what does this even mean? Don't walk past the black cat. It has like weird riddles in it. Um, but yeah, that's our five minutes there. Uh, we're going to get to our next topic here. Uh, weird question. Um, Miguel, okay, so I'm going to do this at the end of every podcast, and this is going to be a little bit of a segment too for the end. Okay, Miguel, we're going to have a weird question. If you could be a, if you were a girl for one day, what would you do with yourself? Tell me. Uh, Go I, ahead and tell me. I don't know. I mean, I'd probably check out my new body parts. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, like you just woke up and it's like freak. It's a like Freaky Friday movie. Yeah. Where they wake up and they're like, they're ah, and they start screaming at that. Like you're just. Would you scream? Would you be? Do you think you'd be scared? Well, yeah, I'm like, why did I change gender overnight? <laughs> That's a little weird, you know. Maybe you had some gender-changing bacteria on your bed. But, uh, no, yeah, I mean, that's kind of an obvious one, you know. That's what the new body parts, yeah, you know, curious. I mean, who wouldn't? Like, if I changed into some famous celebrity overnight, I'd probably do that. I'd be like, whoa, these things are cool. <laughs> why, why didn't I... Holy crap, they're like water balloons. Oh my god. You know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I understand. Um, so yeah, probably that. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's all I can think of. For the whole day, I don't know. For the whole day, though. Like, 24 hours, you would do that? Just lay around your room, lock yourself in there, and just... Oh Cheap up. Oh my god. Um... Uh... Yeah, I think Miguel would be the one to walk around and like stick everything up his vagina and see what fits. Oh my god, no. And see what's most comfortable. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Liar! You no know you'd one. try everything, you'd be like, oh, does this fit? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I think he would. Well, you haven't answered, you really haven't answered the question. Okay, yeah. fine, I'll answer the question. I would probably do the same thing, but you know what? I'd also go to the mall, and um, I would kind of... See how hot you are. No, I just, well, I mean, I test that out, of course, but I'd also try to, like, sneak some money from my parents. I'd go in their purse and wallets and be like, okay, I'm going to go have a fun day while this lasts. I'm going to go to the mall, spend as much money as I want on some cute-ass outfits, cute-ass yeah. jewelry, and try to even get some of it for free. Because you know how some girls are like, Ugh, I want. I wish these prices were a little bit lower. <laughs> and they actually do lower it. Uh-uh. They probably would. Maybe. I mean, I've never seen that, but... You never know. I've yeah. heard of some like employees being hit on by their bosses, like Taylor. Have you you know Taylor? Taylor. Uh, Hyde Brider. Yeah, I think so. Blonde hair. She told me she got hmm? blonde hair. Pink express. Yes. Well, that's the ice cube. But yeah, she told me that her boss hit on her sometimes. I'm like, ooh. That's really weird. Groove. She works at KFC. Do you know how the gross <laughs> that is? That's funny. That's just gross. <laughs> Yeah, what really is he going to do? Give her a discount chicken whenever she has yeah. going there buying food? I mean, might as well. Yeah. Instead of like $10 chicken, have $5 chicken. I want discount chicken. <laughs> you want discount chicken? Bro, I love fried chicken. Discount chicken? Yeah, um, yes. You just tell me when you need to start leaving. I, I know it's yeah. already almost 6.10. He wanted to leave at 6.10, but... Um, okay, so I think I would do that. I'd go to the mall, buy a whole bunch of stuff, waste all their money, just have fun. And you know what? I would let people hit on me. I would. Yeah. Maybe I'd let someone have like a little grab or a squeeze. Oh my god, a squeeze? I'd be a whore for a day. <laughs> oh my god. Why not take advantage? I guess. This just turned really a sexist. For a day? <laughs> <laughs> it just turned really sexist. I would be scared though to go on Colfax. Oh. I feel like I would get abducted and stabbed and murdered. Right. Yeah, Maybe. so I would definitely not go to Colfax. I'd go to the nice clean areas. I think it'd be hilarious. But you know what? We'd be... We wouldn't... Although, if we were girls, we'd be Mexican chicks. So I'd be Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Have you seen my Lupe character? No. Oh, my God, Miguel. He's missing out. You guys have probably seen the Lupe character on my first Q&A. Thank Fuck, you. it's ridiculous. <laughs> Bitch, I will cuss you, and I will cuss you into two pieces, okay? Oh, hell no, dude. <laughs> I will be the Lupe working at McDonald's with money at the mall. Oh. Holy oh, shit, that would be great. Chola eyebrows? Yes. Like the Nike? I would do that on purpose, just so oh, I could piss people off. It's terrible. Uh, people would be scared of me at the mall. <laughs> they would hit on me, but they'd also be scared of me. I'd be like, bish what? <laughs> Fuck Come no. here, bish. I fucking run. That's terrible. Yeah, I would terrify people for all day. Until, like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean that's a good answer. 
My answer was better than yours. You're supposed to be just masturbating around the house all day. Not, I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> I'd probably just say, do the same thing. Play games. Play video games? You'd be one of those boss-ass video game gamer or girls? Hey, yeah. You'd be on Call of Duty, like, be, uh, you'd be on Call of Duty and be like, Fuck you, bitch! Cussing them out. Hell no. They wouldn't talk shit, because you're a girl. I'd get so much shit, though. Why? It sucks. Oh, uh, it's a girl playing. Yeah, that's how many people are online. It kind of sucks, but that's how it is on. I play with girl gamers, but they're like 10-year-olds. No, I mean, like, when some when some chicks, when they play online or on, like, yeah, on, like, Call of Duty or something, they get, like, <laughs> they get so much shit. Either, either, it's, ne it's never, like, they never get treated just, like, a person playing. It's yeah. either they get a lot of shit because, or, or they get hit on. It's oh, one God. or the other. It really is, man. It, oh, it's terrible. I'm, I feel bad. Oh, God. But she, they don't even know what she looks like. It doesn't matter. They're going to be like, <laughs> get off. Like, it kind of like something with your life, you fat whore. Or oh, something my God. Like or, or like a like a sex call, right? Like the phone calls. You talk with strippers and shit like that. <laughs> so what are you wearing? No. <laughs> All the guy gamers are like, yeah, <laughs> shorts. Like yeah, it's either one. <laughs> It's one or the other. <laughs> That's my girl. I'm wearing uh, red shorts. <laughs> it's like that State Farm, Farm commercial. <laughs> well, what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Khakis. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you wearing, um, Lupe from... Mexico? <laughs> Lupe from Mexico? Uh, booty shorts? Mm -hmm. Like, what else? Stupid. <laughs> I think that would be really interesting. You should do that. Like, play online. Just talk like a chill about Oh my it. god, I do a face cam and all that shit. <laughs> Be like, fuck your stupid a fucking GTA 5 free roam with, with Lupe mm -hmm. for like five episodes. Yep. That Sounds would like be great. That would be great. What about like Helga? <laughs> oh god, you. Oh. I still need to do that. I don't want to do that. Why? Stupid game. I don't know how to play. How to shoot, yes. Oh, how to shoot. Oh, my tits. It's. It's exactly, it's, that's hilarious. I, man. I mean, I don't know. Maybe coming 2015, when I when I plan it better and get the better ideas and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I guess Miguel is getting ready to leave slowly because he needs to go work out. So uh, yeah. Um, I yeah, hope you guys enjoy. This, I hope you enjoy this podcast. So yeah, I'm gonna speak like Miranda Sings for the rest of the video. Push the button. Push the button. Push it. Come up with a better ending. Push it. Oh, okay, fine. This has oh. been another... Oh, well, I usually do that. I'm like, okay, so this has been another motherfucking weekly podcast. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one next Saturday. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Miguel. See ya. Bye.